Good morning. Good morning. Good, that's much better. Speaking after the ED is always a bit of a challenge. And now that I'm going to speak just before the chief guest, I shall make my speech very short because we don't want to stand between yourselves and your graduation. Our chief guest, the director of uh, KNQA, Dr. Juma Mukwana, all protocols observed because the rest of the greetings have been done by the people before me. On behalf of the Kim Governing Council, I wish to welcome you to our 17th ceremony. It gives me great joy to celebrate this remarkable milestone in our calendar, to celebrate God's grace, especially as Kim Marx's 64th year of service to God and humanity. Allow me to express our deep appreciation to you, our chief guest. Thank you for taking time off your busy schedule to join us, to celebrate with these hardworking men and women who are raring to take their place in society and render service within and beyond our borders. For the parents, guardians, siblings, and all of those who support has made this learning, learning journey possible, including our faculty whose dedication to share their vast wisdom, knowledge, and expertise. We want to say thank you very much. We've all worked hard to get to this day, and our work did not go to waste. Ladies and gentlemen, today's world is a disrupted one, where technology is enabling all tasks, and therefore our industries to perform at supersonic speeds. As you line up to graduate, this only marks a great face off between your skills and technology. In this cognitive era, yours is to put your skills to transform businesses, making them more customer-centered and efficient. This is the great benefit to life and society. Guided by this, th this year's theme of transforming lives and impacting nations, we are convinced that you, our graduates, will go out and positively impact the world in more ways than one. We must adapt, and that's what technology does to us. It helps us adapt. At KIM, we train and equip our graduates for excellence, integrity, and competitiveness. That is where your skills come in for the development of a better Kenya. You have already shown your commitment to personal growth by making it here today, with all the long hours that you put in to ensure that you get your graduation day. But learning, just like life, is a journey. And you don't stop growing after this ceremony. Actually, this only marks the beginning after which you then grow to become an alumni of Kim, to learn even further, or to move on to the Management University of Africa to get other degrees. And I will encourage you to look into the brochure, both page 15 and 17. It's got a lot of information of what you can do next. The role of education is to transform individuals and the society. And that cannot be gainsaid. The place of learning institution in preparing holistic and value-oriented individuals for useful living within our society is even more impactful. At KIM, we have embraced this duty earnestly through research, training, and teaching that addresses real-world challenges, and that impacts lives positively. Graduates and ladies and gentlemen, knowledge is fast replacing the other resources as the main economic driver 
The world today needs creativity, resilience, and a responsibility to, resolve, to solve leadership and management dilemmas. We await your constructive contributions and look forward to your cooperation and respect for others in society. At KIM, we recognize that to practice effective leadership, governance, and management, there is need for continuous training and development. Good governance, leadership, and management practices are necessary for economic transformation and social development. To fulfill these core roles and leadership responsibility, those in authority must, knowledge, must be knowledgeable and skilled in critical competences. And that is what you, as graduates of KIM, have been endowed with by the years and the time that you have spent in the classrooms with our very valuable lecturers and teaching staff. As I conclude, they say that institutional strength lies in its people. At KIM, you, our members, our partners, our staff, our lecturers, our students, and alumni are the best definition of success because you promote integrity in the management practice. To the graduates, all I can say is, let's go out there and transform lives and impact the nations. Thank you, and may God bless you.